Hello and welcome to our first Mad Marketing Minute. Today I'll discuss a few highlights regarding the current market situation for the marketing day ended February 21st. US and Canadian stock markets continued their streak of settling record new high closes today due to strength in corporate earnings releases as well as optimism towards President Trump's economic agenda. Anticipation towards the White House's promised upcoming tax reform remains high with hopes that they will be able to further strengthen the business environment in the United States. Recent warm weather across much of continental North America has significantly reduced snow cover for winter cereals and with temperatures reaching into the 70s up into Nebraska and South Dakota, there could be a potential for harm if a cold snap returns as some of as some of the winter wheat has begun breaking dormancy. Temperatures near freezing are forecast to return for much of the Great Plains by the weekend, but the change in the weather is also predicted to bring significant precipitation across the plains, which will benefit many areas. Watch for any potential further dips in temperature in the coming weeks. South America continues to be a major focus for the soybean and veg oil markets. In Argentina, much of the soybean crop is beginning to near or enter the critical pod filling stages, so it will be important to see if any potential weather concerns develop further. In Brazil, the soybean harvest continues to progress at a rapid rate, with some areas of the country now over 50% complete. Reports seem to be suggesting that Brazilian soybean yields are coming in even higher than the good yields that were already predicted, so it will be important to keep an eye on Brazil as more results from the soybean harvest continue to roll in. If official production estimates from the USDA and others begin to be adjusted upwards, there is potential for North American soy and canola prices to be pressured. In addition to the South American crop, it will be important to keep an eye on US soy export numbers. While they have been exceptionally strong throughout most of the winter, there will be increased pressure on them as more and more of the South American crop begins hitting the international market. To add to this, further strengthening in the US dollar will also have the potential to hinder exports as Brazilian beans will be that much cheaper for international buyers. As a quick update on current soybean pricing opportunities in our local area, Richardson at Shoal Lake has a bid for October delivery for $11.43 per bushel. Patterson at Binscarth has a bid for $11.31 per bushel for November delivery for anybody who's looking into lock anybody looking to lock in any of your upcoming 2017 soybean production. Corn planting has begun in parts of Texas and thus it will be important to keep an eye on what American farmers final decisions end up being regarding what they sow as the planting season progresses northwards. Variations in soy and corn planted acres always carry the potential to swing the market one way or another. Thanks for joining us today, and we look forward to bringing you more Mad Marketing Minutes in the future. Happy marketing!